Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to this video. This video's topic is logging. So logs in Linux are stored in slash var slash log directory. Okay, so if we literally want to uh, see where the logs are, we can literally like, uh, write this command ls and then slash sla uh, slash variable uh, slash log slash var slash log. We hit enter, and here you can see that these are all the log files that we have okay so um right here the file that you see auth.log and auth.log1 these are the files that contain the authorization and security related events okay uh, then we have a kernel file here kernel.log and kernel.log.1 this is the file that contains the kernel messages okay all the all the kernel messages logs are here okay so uh, similarly you know you can see that there are there there are a lot of files uh, here um, this boot dot log it contains the information about uh, the boot booting of the system okay when the system boots all the information that is related to it is going to be stored here that system log it contains a lot of information the useful information usually it contains you know what uh, usually you uh, go for the log files when you have some sort of system errors or you know errors related to running a program usually most probably you are going to find your errors you know right here okay so um let's uh, you know see what in one of the file that uh, what it contains so let's see the authorization log okay so we go here we write here slash for slash log and then slash auth dot log all right we hit enter and now you can see that it has shown me uh, all the information related to the authorization and security the things that i have done uh today um you know all the files and all the sessions uh in which i have used my root permissions and i have worked as a super user so all of that okay so it might get tough to open up each and every uh, file for information on separate subjects like authorization file and then the system file the system.log the kernel.log so luckily there are files that combine other log files information but the downside to that is that it's going to be a lot of data okay so if you know exactly where the problem is then you might want to opt for a smaller and specific log file okay so slash var slash log slash syslog is the f is the log file which logs pretty much everything on your system okay so if if i go here cat slash var slash log uh slash syslog then you can see that it has pretty much every information about my system and you know this is a long list i'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and you can see it starts from here so it it tells me everything everything related to the system it is even showing me that i'm running my you know uh, software for screen recording and everything okay so it has like every information in it all right so the idea is that the only thing that syslog does not log by default are off events okay so when troubleshooting with system machines then slash var slash log slash syslog will usually contain the most comprehensive information about your system that you should be you know uh, that should be your first stop all right so mostly we just want to look at the latest events on our system so we don't need to overload our disk with all of this information okay so our system is also designed this way all right so it's not like that that only we don't want that our system is also built and designed this way and it cleans up the old log files and make room for the new ones so our system use something called as log rotation to perform this okay so in linux the utility rotate logs is known as log rotate okay so we're going to discuss utilities uh, in future video uh, so we have in this video we have discussed logging for a single machine 
But if you find yourself managing multiple systems, then you can use something called as centralized logging. All right. So um, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, you have enjoyed it. You have, you know, you have become aware of some new files, new log files. This is Linux in training course, and I'll see you in the next video.